my lovelies welcome to my channel here we are doing the middle of the month love readings this is going to be for my beautiful capricorn sun moon rising and venus before we get into your reading capricorn i want to wish every single one of you guys happy holidays i want to wish you guys the very best um hope you guys are as excited as we are for the holidays we celebrate pretty big on this side so <laughs> Let's get into your reading Capricorn. Let's see what's going on regarding your love life. Okay. Spirit guides, ancestors, and archangels, please step forward. Allow us to see clearly and concisely what is unfolding for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What changes, opportunities, or new beginnings are coming to them? If there are any obstacles that they need to currently go through, allow us to see clearly and concisely what it is that they need to overcome. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay. One more shuffle. And we are ready to go. Okay. I happen to see the Two of Cups here underneath. All right. Let's get into it. So your first card here is the Seven of Swords. Maybe dealing with a situation where there is clarity that you're looking for or wanting regarding a connection your next card here is the higher font uh, this is a card that's symbolizing or representing the energy of your partner now your next card here is the strength card the five of pentacles and the seven of cups here interesting interesting next cards here for your partner is the king of cups the ace of cups and the knight of cups okay off the bat there are there are major changes that are happening for you capricorn regarding your love life seven of swords could indicate feeling very guarded feeling like you have to protect your energy this could also represent like being felt like you were let down in the past and you're like no more no more pity parties i am not allowing anyone to take advantage of me or to make me believe something that is not true or that they're not showing me through action. So a very powerful energy here. With the uh, strength card here, there is a feeling of being more confident, being more in control, more in power of your emotions or more in power of yourself, Capricorn. This is the uh, self -actual or self actualization of the power that you possess. Um, this is the being confident. This is the standing in your power. With the five of pentacles, standing in your power based on someone in the past making you feel like you weren't worthy or making you question your worth um and that's where this confidence came from that's where you know it's kind of like when you're feeling sad and then all of a sudden you like you remember who the f you are and knowing that you're not gonna allow anyone um treatment or perception of you make you feel a certain type of way so this is taking your power back and in the realization of this process you realize really how many options you have or the options that are starting to present themselves to you so i feel that ultimately uh capricorn there is this um energy that is unfolding um in the next coming weeks where you were willing to give your heart or you were willing to give an opportunity to someone you deemed worthy the moment you felt like they were either playing with your emotions or not being completely honest was the moment you decided to pull your heart back from the table and say, F this, I know what the hell I deserve and I'm not settling for anything less. Then you moved from this um, from this energy of like even wondering, like, is it something I did? Was it something I could have done better? You went from that type of energy to saying, F that, I am a Capricorn. I know what I deserve. I know what I'm capable of making happen. I'm not going to sit here and cry. I'm going to get my shit together. I'm going to keep it pushing because that just means that someone else that is more worthy of me is out there. So in essence, there is a transition that has a lot to do with self-growth, self-belief and self-love on yourself to be able to detach from anything that is toxic or has been toxic in the past. Now, with this process, the Hierophant is a representation of the energy of the partner. So it could have been potentially a partner that was emotionally invested in you, that was interested in you, but was extremely guarded. They could have been extremely guarded or at that point in time, they felt like they weren't ready to fully commit or fully invest. The detachment that happened here with you, Capricorn, 
is leading them to believe, oh my God, why am I missing Capricorn? Why am I thinking of Capricorn all the time? Why are they not as accessible as they once were? Then they're realizing, well, because Capricorn is a goddess or a god of power, right? Um, they are um, essentially what grounded or what brought a lot of grounding to my life. This is the partner that I want to be with. This is the type of partner I want to invest my time in. And they're willing and capable and coming towards you with an open heart and an open, um, emotionally being open to profess their true feelings and intentions for you. Knight of Pentacles here. I feel like you're not going to make it easy whatsoever for them. But if you definitely connect with the energy of a person in the past that really tested your patience or tested, um, even made you question uh, your worthiness, do not be surprised if by the end of November, this person is professing their love to you, telling you that they miss you, that they want you to give them an opportunity and spirit ultimately telling you, don't make it easy for them. Don't jump very quickly to give them that opportunity. Allow them to prove to you, Capricorn, that they want you in their life. Why? Because at this point in this stage in your life, it is very crucial and very important to know um, the toxic traits that we have or the habits that are toxic when we're talking about love and romance that we've done in the past that we should have outgrown at this point. So no more playing around for Capricorns. You know exactly what it is that you want. Again, if this person comes back around, um, really allow them to show you through action, not through words, that they're willing to make you a priority. All right, my lovelies, I want to wish you guys the very best. Happy holidays, and we'll talk to each other soon. Bye.